Hello everybody, Mr. Sixpin here, and welcome back to Marble World. In today's video, we've got another incredible marble run to play with. We'll give it a really good test first, just to see how it works and everything. Then we're going to do some racing to finish off the video. By the way, this marble run is made by one of those awesome creators over on the Steam Workshop, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourselves. But let's get straight into this. So over here is a tower where you kind of put the marbles in and send them down the track, and if I just put the barriers up, you can see we're spawning in 400 marbles at a time and if i just get all oh, no, bit no okay wait a minute i just put too many in there <laughs> they're coming out the top here let me just try that oh that's so cool look at that whoa okay slow motion this is going to be awesome guys in slow motion hang on yes whoa look at that isn't that incredible That's 7,200 marbles right now. Hang on, let me just put the barriers down. So the barriers go down, look, and they fall through the tower. That's how it's meant to work, not how I did it at the beginning. They're going to go through into the funnel down below. And let's just go inside one of these sections here. And they're kind of falling through these square holes. Oh, no, look at this. That is amazing. It's like a whirlpool in the ocean, isn't it? Check that out. They're all going down the center. That is unbelievable. I love watching this. And down here, look actually see they're sort of going down onto the funnel below it the spinner down here and these spinners are just moving around to separate the marbles and move them off this layer i believe so they can actually carry on going down otherwise they might get stuck then there's another layer down below wow look at that another one going straight through onto the funnel below it there's one more i think down here yeah that's it look at that as they come out the tube as well onto that spinner there the red marble flying across the screen this is absolutely amazing. I've been nearly at the end of this section as we go down towards the ground. There's another tower which they go into afterwards. And then, oh, a bit of a traffic jam in. Oh, no, hang on. Have we blocked it? <gasps> I think it's, oh, it's okay. They're all coming out here. Look at the bottom of the tower. And this looks incredible as they snake around the corner. Loads of marbles are now on the ground in the snow. But they're going to come around the corner here and onto this escalator. I'm just going to reset the marble so we can have them moving a bit quicker because that was, <laughs> that was a bit difficult for my PC to run. But here they go around the corner. This is kind of normal speed now. That looks just amazing, doesn't it? They come around here onto our escalator going right up the top. Massive traffic jam here in the tray. <laughs> Look at that. I wonder how many marbles are in there, guys. Anyway, they're about to come off the top now of that escalator down this kind of quarter pipe shape here. Um, hitting a couple of pegs on the way down. Let's go into camera mode and see how it looks as we go down. We'll take this green one. Here we are in marble camera mode then, hitting into one of those pegs there, around the corner really fast, not falling off the sides. And, oh, this is brilliant. I love this. Heading towards the ground. Okay, so past a little dividing kind of strip there. There's some spinners in the way, but we got past those really quickly, just following this green marble now down those are other marbles overtaking us on the way. Um, through a checkpoint, a couple of checkpoints here, which we're going to use for the racing later on, and onto another escalator. Here is that escalator now that we've just gone onto, and look how big that thing is. And the marbles are going so quickly past the tracks around it as well. So let's join another marble at the top. Whoa, look in the background. <laughs> This whole track looks amazing with marbles on it. I love the colours as well. I love how it's natural wood and it's got all these supports on the ground. It's really, really cool. Anyway, let's choose an orange marble now and follow this one down the next section of the track. So, oh no, hang on, a blue marble just fell off, but we're okay. We're still on at the moment. There's an escalation in the background through a tunnel. I love that design. Uh, around the corners here. Still getting closer to the ground, of course, after that second escalator. Okay, oh, that's interesting. Let me just zoom out there, look. So, oh, hang on. Here we go then. Yeah, so they go onto this sort of ramp here, but then fall down a gap afterwards. 
and carry on. Oh, hang on. That, oh, I'm getting lost now. <laughs> oh, that's why there's a massive traffic jam at the bottom of that. Oh, no, hang on a minute. If that escalator doesn't move quickly enough, this is going to get overflowed really quickly. Oh, no. Here they come. This is going to be a disaster, guys. I can tell it now. This is going to be an absolute disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope they don't all fall off the track. We've got loads coming down still. Oh, that's actually the last few there, look. So it's okay. We're all right, guys. We're all right. Here is the traffic jam onto the escalator. That's going right up over here and into these funnels. Okay. They're getting divided up by this triangular wedge there. Then there's a pipe underneath it, which is going straight into this second kind of triangular wedge. Through the holes again. Down here... And another pipe, there's a spinner in this one. That is going through the pipe here. Now this is an awesome, guys, this is one of my favourite sections on the whole run. Because look at that, there's a, there's a sort of staircase here going down and they're all just bouncing down it. Look how big the steps are on this thing, that's amazing, isn't it? All the way up to the top, you can get like three lines of marbles on each step, that's brilliant. Loads of them are still coming down the steps as well afterwards. Let's actually use camera mode and just see what that's like. Okay, here we go. Down the steps, bouncing down. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, on to these escalators. This is going to be an interesting ride, isn't it? There we go. We're on it. Oh, hang on. Can't see much, though. Okay, here we are at the top of these stairs. And we'll just join another marble and follow that one down. Now, I think we're sort of heading towards the end of the run at this point. And it doesn't loop round. It kind of ends a, at a specific place. It's like an A to B kind of track. So around the corner, there's a dividing line halfway on the track, which is really, really nice. I like that. And down. Oh, there's a really fast ramp there. That's really cool. Okay, around the corners, past some candy canes. We're going really quickly towards the final stages of this run. Um, more candy canes. Ah, there is a ramp there, which I'm assuming is quite quick if you get over it. There it is. But most of the marbles are not getting over it. Oh, hang on. What's, what's going on here? Oh, no. Oh no, hang on. We've got a bit of an issue here. <laughs> oh, they're moving a bit. Look, they are moving a bit because the weight of the marbles behind is really moving them forwards. This is going to be a bit tricky to get started though. There's only one on the escalator right now. Oh no. I've broken it, I think, guys. I've broken it. There is some movement here though. Look at that. There is definitely movement. Here they come. Oh, it's getting bigger and bigger. I'm just going to use the old booster trick that I've got here to try and move them along a bit. There, there we go. Look. Yes, it's working. Hang on. Oh, a bit too high. Get a move on. Come on, guys. Off you go. That's it. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Tell you what, though. It's not easy, is it? I mean, look. Whoa. Okay. That was good. That was good. Yes. Yes. Let's go back into camera mode then and see the last stage of this track. So through a pipe here, all made of wood, which is really nice. Through some nails. Around the others. We missed those. Oh, no. <gasps> Look at this. Okay, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is the end of the track where we made such a big traffic jam. They can't even get to the finish line. Oh, no. They're, they're all queuing up on the bridge. <laughs> but we got there in the end. Anyway, as you can see, this is the end of the track. And down here, there's actually a block at the end. So you're not meant to come off. That is literally the end. So this marble here, the orange one, is in first place. Marble 544. But if we just delete that block for a second. Okay, that's brilliant. Look at that. Yes. Yes, they're all coming through now. Try and get... <laughs> that's brilliant, isn't it? Anyway, that's it, guys. That is the whole track. Now I reckon we should go do some racing on it. In today's race, we have 124 marbles, most of them named after my own viewers. If you would like a marble named after you in a future race, let me know in the comments section down below. We've also got some other brand new marbles as well, which I'll just show you right now at the top. They're starting at the back, but if you don't have your own marble, you might want to choose one of these ones instead. We've got Phoenix, Goblin, Fairy, Dragon, Unicorn, mermaid and kraken there's all 124 of them at the start line there we go the race is just starting now red lights are going up on screen we're all starting in the same side of the tower and away they go the green lights have gone up so now into the funnels down into the second one already and the third one down below and jacob f is in first vinny bossy in second and Haley in third as they come off the tower section and onto this first huge escalator as they climb their way right up to the top i can see the close Wars there and Dustin T who actually started near the back is now 
up into, well, second place at the moment, Dustin is. Uh, we've got Link there, also started near the back. Link is now near the front as well. Ultra A Gaming, I can see. Andy, Nico, Daniel R, Matt B, Ethan, Rax C, Nebula Cubing is here. But now they're coming off that escalator. Let's join the Clone Wars uh in first place here just going down quite far oh no hitting one of the stuff oh look at that mr chips has taken the lead mr chips <laughs> really i love that name by the way it's so cool star wars is also up there doing really well the clone wars is stuck on a spinner but not doing too badly just getting past that now and i don't think you're back into last place at the moment jamia t though is in first mr chips in second and uh muffy donuts in third as they head onto this second escalator here let's go back and have a look the clone Clone Wars now down into 20th position, which is not a bad drop back to be honest, considering there are over 100 marbles in this race. Haley and Jerry Cans just underneath the track right now. Here they come. One Security Gaming is just behind Mr. Chips. Mucky Donuts there as well. Uh, we've got a few others, Cindy and Jamia. Ultra A Gaming, who else do we have there? Muffy Donuts now into first position. And let's join their marble just behind Mr. Chips at the moment. Oh my goodness. Down here, this is a really fast bit of track now. Hopefully they won't fall off. Both crashing into each other there. Going through the gap. Mr. Chips bouncing off the escalator and has lost a couple of places. Oh no, wait a minute. We've got five marbles all in joint first pretty much going up the escalator right now. Skirapole has come out of nowhere to join that first bunch and also Cindy is on the next step down below so pretty close behind we've got Andrew, Vinnie Bossy and Star Wars up there and surely in a minute we're going to be going off the escalator here we are into the funnels and down towards the ground again there's those wedges in the way you're going to get past those wedges and everybody's crashing into each other as they go through down the pipes as well if we just zoom out here there's the pipe and we're going to just keep going down now Vinny Bossy is just about to fall down that one and off they come already past down the steps here Joven Action and Bluebird I think that was uh Ali A Haley Orange Man Andrew just going onto the steps a few marbles of course falling off including my subscribe marble unfortunately we've got Elliot there um, and Master Dan just coming off the track with a bunch of others as well, unfortunately. But let's go to the top of these escalators and see what happens. Wicked Daniel is in first position. The Clone Wars in second, back to 20th and then back up to second all of a sudden. Uh, amazing performance from the Clone Wars there. Uh, Skirapole in second. And Chuffy is fourth. I think that's Chuffy the dog, actually, is in fourth position right now. Kraken is in fifth. Let's join Wicked Daniel though who is going over that bump. That's a really good move because that is a very fast way across and Wicked Daniel is yes currently in first but Cindy is second with Skirapole on the same step of the escalator Oliver and Kraken below but Wicked Daniel might actually be in a good position to win this race that is brilliant Daniel R just going over the jump Santiago going over Andrew not going over the jump and all oh, getting overtaken by John Jack uh, Jack John and Katie racing there but already we're off here and I can see some people coming around to the finish line. Who do we have? Wicked Daniel going cross and winning the race. Who's that in second? Kraken in second. Skirapole in third. Cindy fourth. Oliver fifth. Dylan sixth. Uh, oh, hold on a minute. Chuffy seventh. Waylon eighth. Alana P ninth. And Goblin in tenth. Here comes All Nighters and Erin just behind One Security Gaming and you leave there. I'll leave it in slow motion for a second because then it's easier to kind of see, you know, where you all are, isn't it? But in a minute, of course, we're going to have a look at the positions. So we'll just wait till the race is over. And then we'll check that out. Here we are then. The results are in. And Wicked Daniel winning with the fastest lap of 4 minutes and 5 seconds. Kraken in second. And Skirapole in third. Now we're going to scroll down so everybody else can see their positions in the race. And don't forget guys. If you want me to name a marble after you in a future video. Let me know in that comment section down below. Well, that's it for today's video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget, if you did enjoy it, please do click that subscribe button, the like button, and the bell as well if you want to keep up to date with my channel. But with all that being said, thank you so much. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.